So, on the one year anniversary of the Mueller investigation, things are heating up and not cooling down as the special counsel continues to investigate Russian interference in the 2016 presidential campaign. Now, although the, the president uh, keeps calling it uh, a witch hunt and claims that there was no collusion, interesting, uh, Mueller's uh, team already has, uh, has 22 indictments, 75 combined criminal charges, five guilty pleas, and one prison sentence. And now it's important to keep all the facts straight here, so follow me. Among those charged with crimes are those very close to uh, President Trump. Paul Manafort, his campaign chairman. Rick Gates, his deputy campaign chairman. Michael Flynn, his former national security advisor. And George uh, Papadopoulos, Trump's uh, foreign policy advisor, and one Dutch lawyer who is now safely behind bars. And then, of course, there's the, all the possible charges brought by the Southern District of New York against President Trump's own personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, whose suspicious activity banking reports have just been exposed. And let's not forget Stormy Daniels and all the other women, and now Manafort's uh, former son-in-law. And this keeps going. More to come. So let's keep things very straight, shall we? It's a very convoluted scenario, so we have to just take it, take it slowly. Since the sole purpose of uh, President Trump's team of spinmeisters is to muddy the waters and to uh, generally confuse the public. So we have to have some order here. Despite President Trump's uh, Herculean efforts to create his own facts and his own reality, the real facts and the real reality, shall we say, are quite damaging to his claims of innocence. Now, the Don's new uh, consigliere, New York's very own Rudy Giuliani, is making pronouncements uh, on his own, all over the place, which may or may not be true, including that uh, special counsel Mueller told the Trump team that he will not indict uh, this sitting president. Again, Mueller and his team uh, have not responded as they cast their wide net. And they continue not to show their hand. Meanwhile, the cast of uh, very shady characters in this crime drama, hoping for pardons, uh, continues to grow. And it's still not clear which will be the first to uh, sing like a canary. So it seems that for the Don, those little annoyances like facts and truth may prove to be his uh, undoing. After all, in our America, no man, not even Donald J. Trump, is above the law. This is John Christopher Buer for Real Political News, Washington.